Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful exponential simplification math problem which is 64 raised to power 4 minus 16 raised to power 4. So here I will try to find out and evaluate the value of this number, this problem without using any calculator and without any standard multiplication that we usually do in the rough work or inside work. So let's start our solution. So first of all here we can write this number 64 as 64 can be written as 16 times 4 raised to the power 4 minus 16 raised to the power 4. Now here in the first term we will use an exponential identity. So we here we will use this one identity a times b whole raised to power n. This can also be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n. So using this identity here this number will become so become 16 s to power 4 times 4 s to power 4 minus 16 s to power 4. Now there is 16 s to power 4 common in both the terms. So we'll take out this common so become 16 s to power 4 times 4 s to power 4 and here is only 1. This so become negative 1. Now next we can write here this 16 as this is simply 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So this is 2, 4 times, so this is 2 raised to power 4. And we can also write this 4 raised to power 4 is 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64, and 64 times 4 is about, this is 64, so 4 times 4 is 16, 6 will be carried, 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 is 25, this is 256. So we'll substitute these values here. 16 is 2 raised to power 4, whole raised to power 4. And this is 256 minus 1. So further, here in this one number, we will use another exponential math property, a raised to power m whole raised to power n, which is a raised to power m times n. So this will become 2 raised to power 4 times 4 is 16 times, and this is simply 255. And we'll try to find out the value of this one number. Then we multiply the number with this one. So therefore, we can write this number as this number can be written as 255 times. We can write this as 2 raised to power 16 is 8 times 2. Then in this one number again, we will use this one exponential math property. So this will become this is 256 times. This will become 2 raised to power 8 whole raised to power 2. Now we will try to find out the weight of 2 raised to power 8. So therefore we can write 2 raised to power 8 as this is simply 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128 and 128 times 2 is about 256. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here 2 is 8 times and this is 256. So here we place 2 raised to power 8 with 256. So this is 200, 255 times this is 256 on square. Now we'll try to find out the square value of this one number. So for that we can write this as 255 times this will become 200 plus 56 on square. Here we'll explain this using a plus b whole square identity. So using that identity, this number will become this is 255 times this will become a square plus b square plus 2 times a b. So this will become 200 square plus 56 square plus 2 times 200 times 56. So let's simplify this one number. So this is 255 times, now what is the value of 200 square? 2 square is simply, this is 4 and there is square over 2 zeros, so you will write these zeros 4 times. There will be 4 zeros. Plus, what is 56 square? So we can write 56 square as it is simply, 56 square can be written as 50 plus 6 whole square. This is 50 square, so 50 square is above, this is 2500. 6 square is 36 plus 2 times 50 times 6 is 2 times 50 is 100. 100 times 6 is 600. So it will become 600. 
Now adding these three numbers 0, 6, 0 is 6, 0, 3, 0 is 3, 6, 5 is 11, and when we come here, so 2, 1 is 3. So this gives him 3, 1, 3, 6. So we'll replace the P6 square with 3, 1, 3, 6. So this will become 3, 1, 3, 6. Let's multiply these numbers over here. 2 times 56, it is about 112. And 112, 112 times 200 is 112 times 0 is 0. This number times 0 is 0. And 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Well, let's just sum up these three numbers. So this will become this is 255 times now adding th these three numbers. This is 0, 6, 0 is 6. 0, 3 is 3, 0 is 3, 4, 1 is 5, 5, 0 is 5, next is 2, so 2, 3 is 5, 5 and 0 is 5, and next is 2, so 2 plus 4 is 6. So here the sum of these three numbers gives him 65,536. So here we have to multiply these two numbers without any calculator and without any proper standard application. So again it is very easy. I will write this number first 65,536 times and here we can write this number as the sum of 200 plus 50 plus 5. Here we have to multiply this number first with 200, secondly with 50 and then last with 5. So it is very interesting and very easy. This number times 0 is 0. This number times 0 is 0. And this number time 2 is 2 times 6 is 12. This is 2 and we carry. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 times 5 is 10. 0 and we carry. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 30. Let's now just multiply this number with 50. So this number time 0 is 0. This number time 5 is 5 times 6 is 30. 0 3 will be carried. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. So this is 8 when we carry. 5 times 5 is 25, 25 plus 1 is 26, so this is 6, 1, 2 will be carried, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 plus 2 is 27, 7, 2 will be carried, 5 times 6 is 30, 30 plus 2 is 32, so this will become 3,276,800. Now finally multiply this number with 5, so 5 times 6 is 30, 3 will be carried, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 is 18, 8 will be carried, 5 times 5 is 25 plus 1 is 26. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 plus 2 is 27. 7. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. Now finally, we will add these numbers. So that will be our final answer. Now to add these numbers, we will start from the ones position. So here 0, 0, 0 is 0. Next is 8. So 8 plus 0 is 8. Next is 6. So 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16, so 6 one will be carried. 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 7 is about 21. So this is 1. 2 will be carried to the next digit. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 7 is 11. 11 plus 0 is 11. So 1. 1 will be carried to this one digit. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Next is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. And this is 1. So finally, the sum of these numbers gives them 16,711,680. So finally, this is our answer and value of this beautiful explanation and simplification of problem. And last, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions. Thanks for watching.